angles. That's why the, the whole uh, thing moves. If you have got two fields, it won't move. That's the one where it moves. They provoke electrons to migrate from the near the AM to the very layer. So we know that the magnetic field can be set to perform functions. The electron flow is accelerated to an extremely high rate and it creates a vacuum around the device. And in that vacuum, you develop numbing cold. And numbing cold, as we know today, is a function of superconductivity. It also, which is, has not been known, a function of gravitational force. flight vehicles to date, yes, they've been tested, and the offer we're now making, we are guaranteed, will fly. It will weigh roughly uh, 90 pounds from the ceiling. I made it quite clear to them, it was not a UFO. The government knows it's identified, they know what it is, Every government knows what it is. They've known it for years. Here behind me, you see an illustration of something similar to the effects that are happening around the solar effect generator. This energy is all around us. It is like this factory. We have electrons pulled to one end so that we can make them flow in a particular manner. If we take a plate and we make our roller like the battery, but just slightly different, that it takes this energy into this, it will then rotate around this plate. Not only rotate around the plate, it also rotates around its own axis. This was made for the Washington Conference of Future Energy in uh, Washington, D.C. a few years back. It had no, no intention of anything moving that wasn't intended. All we wanted to prove that the scientists were wrong. You could get 12 magnetic units to stick on that ring and they would not fall off. We have a plain board here, we've got a plate with no part whatsoever. We have a copper outer surface. What we need to do, we've got to somehow get power from here to here. First of all, we need rollers. And we like the lady to have some body secret batteries in them. No batteries. No batteries? Nothing. Just a lump of metal. What we could do is ask the lady to put the roller use back in to not fly off yet. Three, no fly off. Four, no fly off. No excitement yet. Ten, eleven. And the twelfth disciple just going in. No launching has taken place. So
scientists must be wrong. Now we need to get some more fish across there to find out how much part will it take to make them move and if they will fly off. We now have got some voltage available. So today we kindly try to move, see if one will move. Ready for the launching.